Hey guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. All right, I have to hold this up because if not, you get this this light on it. Um, hey, I wanted to tell you what my book review is: Journal Spilling, Mixed Media Techniques for Free Expression. And I just this is by Diana Trout. I love this book. Um, let me bring out just a touch. Oops. All right. Um, what I love about it is what she has done in here is she has made it so easy to create pages um, with whatever supplies you have on hand. Speaking of which, I had to grab a supply I'm going to be using. Um, so she does it in a way that makes it so easy. That's what just amazes me about this. Um, we talk about supplies warming up, stretch and spill, plunge in, lean into trust, taming the critics, secrets and wishes, my space, lifeline, field trips, and all the resources. And it's just wonderful. Even just the artwork in this book, I can sit, I get inspired just by seeing that. I want to get out my watercolors and just play. Okay, um, I'm going to read you the welcome. And what it says is, come in and put your feet up. Let's chat a bit. First, a warning. I tend to say the most loving and encouraging things in a dead shout. My, fam my students, family, and friends will attest to this. Oftentimes, I forget to be polite, and I am downright bossy. Forgive me for my er, enthusiasm and outspokenness. Although I've tried out polite and collected, it just never took. In journal spilling, you will find techniques, prompts, and encouragement. Pick and choose between the techniques. Enjoy them, use them, and abuse them. Make notes right there in the margin. What you learn and what may work better for you. Make good use of the time guidelines. They are in place to help you find time to journal. And she does. She does quite a few different time things. She'll tell you what, you're look, what you need to get, and then she runs you through the steps, and you have to do it in a certain amount of time. And you talk about freeing. It's definitely freeing. You don't have time to overthink anything. Um, there has been much written over the past several years about using the word artist or writer to describe yourself. To me, those words imply that what rather than who. I'm going to suggest that you leave the labels out and simply be a person in who enjoys making art and writing. Quite simply, you don't need to be an artist to be an art maker. Please bear in mind that learning to spill takes a bit of time and trust. It may not happen the first time you sit at your desk or in a comfy chair. Give yourself the gift of time to learn about trusting the process. It's a matter of practice. Finally, and most importantly, use journal spilling as a springboard. It is not a box. Now get to it. Make some messy journal pages. Go, skedaddle, Diana. All right. So like I said, she talks all about the supplies, the different supplies you need, um, and then she starts talking you through these exercises, all of these really cool exercises. Um, you work with watercolors, you work with a bunch of techniques on watercolors. I'm not going to go through the whole book. I really, if you're interested in art journaling, this is one, I feel, one of the must-haves. And I love it because it gives you so many different options of ways to use a very simple supply that it's just, it's worth it. It's so worth it. Um, the one I'm actually, I'm actually going to do a lesson out of here, and I believe it was this one, Taming the Critic. So, yeah, that's the one I'm going to do, just to play around. Um, there's Secrets and Wishes. Look at this. How fantastic. You know, some people look at that and say, oh my God, that page is, I think that's fantastic. I love it. I love the looseness of it. I love the nonconformity to, you know, this is a perfect square box. I love this. You've got sewing in the middle of it. You've got um, scrap pieces of paper. You've got your journaling in there. This is just so cool to me. Remember we were talking about hot and cold? This is one of my hots. I, I love this type of art journaling. This is just so cool. Um, you know, does it, does it, is it a perfect, is there a rhyme or reason to it? No, not really. Okay, we've got a couple flowers. We've got a couple stuck leaves here. We've got some writing in the background. Few weeds. Not sure what these are. Pea pods, it looks like. You know, and just all different kinds of color, all different kinds of marks, mark making. Okay, and that was called Song on the Brain. Look at this. How cool is that? This is where I I am just, I love it. I love this style. I think this style is just so much more personal 
and it tells so much more about you and, it, and you're allowed to be you with this style. And this is, I'll be honest with you, this is what I would like to get to be able to do is make myself freer to do this type of art journaling. I know I've said it before. I want more journaling in my art. <laughs> So um, this book, like I said, it's one of the most fantastic books that I have. Um, I have not been getting it out as much as I should. I definitely will. Uh, this is really cool, too. In the back, she actually has, um, here's a list of words for spilling. And you can just take one of these words and work on it. Sink. Okay. Uh, continuing. Uh, urgent. Release. Hurricane. Tree. Branch. You know. Um, and then she has quotes in here as well. Certain quotes. And where was the one that I read earlier that I thought was really cool? I don't know where it went. I know one of this ones I thought was kind of cool is everywhere I go I find a poet has been there before me. And that was Sigmund Freud. <laughs> Life is a great big canvas and you should throw all the paint you can on it. Danny Kay. <laughs> Boy, this one's true. You just heard my little wicked laugh. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> a positive attitude may not solve all your problems, but it will annoy enough people to make it work the, worth the effort. Very true, and that's done by Herm Albright. Okay, so like I said, this is uh, Journal Spilling by Diana Trout. Definitely check it out. I absolutely love it. So let's get to the exercise. Now, the exercise say, I couldn't wait, okay? I'm not patient. I don't, patience is not in my vocabulary. So what I did, you guys know I did this page. Well, it is covered in um, Yes Paste, and I, I want to do more. So we're just going to, I'm sticking a piece of deli paper in here and praying and hoping like crazy that it doesn't decide it wants to stick there forever. But if it does, we'll just, we'll figure it out, right? So that's going to stay there. Now this is the next page that we talked about, and this is for my book review. So I will write that and put that down in here. And you know one thing I've slacked on? And you guys didn't catch me on this. So you really need to catch me on this. I haven't done my stats, my mixed media stats, um, for my art journals in quite a while quite a while. I don't know when the last time was that I did it. So I'm going to figure that out. We need to get that done this month. All right. So her first, this is, um, I'm going to just do the technique from, from the book. Let me pull up my S paste. I don't think I need that right now. So the first thing she says is lay down some crayon. All right. So we've got some Neo color twos here. I've got blues and greens on here. I know I have a lot of the warm color here, so we're going to play around with some of the cool colors. So we've got some blues. I'm going to add a little bit more. Let's just get some color down. I'm going to add in blue. I like this. This is beautiful. I received that in a happy mail um, from someone. I'm sorry I'm bad at names, but it's just gorgeous. I love these little envelopes. And I just put that little sticker on there. All good things take time. All right, let's throw down some more color. And all this is, this is Neo Color 2 crayons. If you don't have Neo Color 2s, um, then go ahead and use your water-soluble crayons. There should be, you have um, Tim Holtz Distress crayons you could use. You have, um, let's see, I need a, I want a little bit of a, Purple. Where am I going to put my purple? Oh, let's put it here. Why not? Just because we can. Alright, so we're laying down some water soluble crayons. And then what we need to do is we need to get some water, which I have right here. I actually thought ahead on that one. Imagine that. And we need a brush. And we're going to, this is just a size 18 round royal lang nickel and we're just gonna activate our water Ooh. let's activate this one so we're laying down our crayon and this is just to me it's so amazing because it's just so freeing it's like hey you know I'm just playing 
just having fun playing. I don't know what I'm going to do with that purple. We might, we might change that. How? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Okay, so this is her second. Second step is to activate your watercolors, which is what we're doing. That right there is not activated, so we've got pretty color. And let's take this. I'm going to take the purple. Let's take our purple. I'm just going to activate that right there. Purple, purple. So this is our second step. All right, what's our third step? Third step is to, it says to see how intense the color is when it got wet, which it is. Now it says to add gesso. Add some gesso as a translucent layer. You should still be able to see the color through the haze. Feel free to be sloppy. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this, and then we'll get some gesso. All right, so what I've done dried this up pretty well. Um, now I've got some gesso here. I've got some white gesso. Ooh, it's a good thing I didn't shake that. I had already taken the lid off it. I'm just going to put some gesso on my palette here and then I'm going to add some water to it because I want it to be translucent. I don't want it to be covered if everything is all white. So we're just going to add and see it's going to pick up that color which is fine. That's no big deal. Um, we're going to pick up that color because it's water soluble. Hence, water, gesso, wet, and I need more. Doo -doo. Just want a little bit. Just make it so it's not quite so. This is so cool. So I hope you guys are having fun this month. I know I. Yeah, it's funny, when I first looked at the, the prompt, I was like, oh, what am I going to do with that? And I think the rest of my cohorts did the same thing. But um, we were like, yeah, we can do it. So here we are. All right, so I added my layer of gesso. Now what? It says right into the gesso. All right, so I'm just going to take just a regular pencil. It says, hot and cold is the way I'm playing today. And what fun it is. All right. So we wrote in the pencil. Uh, da, 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 da. Simply wipe the tip off as it becomes more covered. And wipe it well when you're finished writing. Yeah, it's just regular pencil. Okay. Scribble in objects. Well, I've already wrote all over it. Hmm, what am I going to put in here? Let's put a big flower. You know what? I saw Gina draw, draw a tulip, so let's throw a tulip in here. Why not? Or just a flower. It doesn't have to be a tulip. Right? Alright, so now. Now it says to brush more just... Yes, that's my kitty. He, she drew a kitty. But you know what? And it says you can put more gesso on. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do this right here and then I'm gonna draw my tulip right in there or my flower. I'm not it's gonna be really gonna be a tulip. That's actually kind of cool because see all the layers back there? That's actually really cool. So now I'm just gonna draw a flower. Is that a tulip? Oh, I don't know. It's a flower to me. Just a flower. Let's draw a little one right here. Just a little flower. Okay, now. Uh, now it says add more color with an additional water soluble crayon, blending it with the fingers as you go. So now what I'm going to do is I have to dry this up because if I just start adding crayon on here, it's going to mush the gesso all over the place and I'm not sure where it's going to go. So let's dry it up real quick. I'm going to leave you guys on while I do it. I'm praying. This doesn't stick. Ooh, that came off. Uh. Would you 
just drying up our gesso. Now it says add additional crayon, add more color with an additional water soluble crayon, blending it with wet fingers as you go. Here are the crayon caught in the hills and the valleys created by the writing in the gessoed layer creating even more variety. So we're going to do that. Now I didn't really do a whole lot of writing on the sides, but that's okay. So let's grab our crayons. Let's do, I don't need to do the same. Nobody says I have to do the same, right? So let's use this blue. Ooh, I like that blue. We got to use it with wet fingers. Love it. Blending it with wet fingers. That's something else I need to do is more finger painting. I think it gives it more character when it's finger painted. I don't do more of it. It's not like my hands don't get dirty already. How pretty. Look how pretty. So pretty. All right, now what else are we going to do? Let's put a different color in here. What color do we want? I really like those greens. How about this green? Then we're going to do our flower. Oh, we're going to have fun. Should we put a flower here? But I didn't. That's okay. Oops. <laughs> Watch where you stick your finger. <laughs> Don't stick your finger in the gesso. <laughs> stick it in the water jar. <laughs> oh, I make myself laugh. Don't tip over your water jar. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. All right. This is getting really wet. So pretty. All right. So we didn't do that now. So scribble into the crayon. If you put down a crayon, you'll be able to draw with it all. This technique is, this technique, okay. Getting big words here. It says, scribe into the crayon if you put enough of the crayon down. I didn't, I put it down and then I wet it. So um, this technique is called Sgraffiato, Sgraffiato, the fancy artist lingo meaning to scratch. It will remove lines of the crayon and allow the other layers to come through, that's fine. Grab a color from a crayon with a wet brush, apply directly off the crayon, then apply to the loaded brush to the paper, and soften with white. And it says, if you wait until all is dry, you can use a white water-soluble crayon over the top. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna do my tulip or my flower, whatever it is. I'm gonna make it red. I'll put a little red one here. Let's see, pink. Throw a little pink in there. Salmon. Um, is there pink in here? Well, I don't see anything pink. Alright, we'll use purple. A little bit of purple. Why not? Alright, now I'm going to actually grab a little brush. Where did that come from? And again, this is not, um, this is not, oh, as I say before, it's not a Picasso. It's just fun. This is just play. Play and have fun with your supplies and just enjoy them. All right, let's throw, let's take a little bit of this green. That looks like a bluish green. Let's use some of that too. What not? Our flowers don't have to be ugly greens, do they? But well, not saying that there's an ugly green, but you know what I'm saying. So I have a little bit of this too. Why not? I'm going to put some grass here. Grass, grass, grass. And then we'll just mix them all up. Why not? Do, do. Just so fun. 
This is what I love about mixed media art. You can just play and have fun. It doesn't have to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect art. I don't care who you are. Um, you know, this is about the playing. This is about having fun. Did you enjoy it? Did you have fun doing it? That's what matters. Again, it's not about, you know, oh, it all has to be perfect. Now I got this square here, so I'm gonna throw in some yellow because I think I'm gonna do some more journaling on here. Um, and what I want to do is, of course, I'll have to dry it first. But I want to put, that didn't work. Um, I want to put um, my thoughts about this book and about what I like and what I'm seeing. And, you know, I'm just going to activate that so I have a nice little yellow patch here. So cool. And then I'm going to dry this up. I'm going to come back. I want to put a little bit of white there so I can do some journaling. Dry it up and then we'll be right back. All right, so whatever I do from here on out, um, I can't use my heat gun on this page over here because I ended up wetting my Yes Paste. It actually came back to life and I had to fix some things because all my glue was on here. Blah, 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 blah. So, oh, let's see. All right, so let me, all right, we got that pretty well dry. Now, what I want to do is, like I said, I want to take a little bit of gesso, just put a little bit of water in it, just so I can put like a little white patch here. Not a whole lot, just enough so that I have, you know, I can write. It's actually a yellow patch now, but that's okay. We'll make it a little bit more whiter. All right, perfect. Now, on this, I want to take, what's this, just a, this is a Kino crayon, I wonder if it's black, yep it is, I just want to do a little bit of dark, you know, don't have to do a great big line, but just a little bit of darkness, just crayons, it's okay, right, I don't want it to look like it's just kind of sitting there in the middle of nowhere. All right, what else have we got? I want to go back in with a little bit more red, just to kind of darken areas. Maybe the bottom, some along the top. Take some of our purple and put it in. All right? It doesn't need to be all. I don't like that flower. I don't like the flower. So what we're going to do is we're going to wet it, we're going to take it off, we're going to fix it. So the first thing I'm going to take my crayon, now that it's wet, I'm going to do that, and we're just going to play. So it's just a little bud, right? It's only a little bud showing. That's okay. All right. Now, since this is dry, I'm also going to take some white crayon. Look at that. We can bring some highlights in there just to give it a little bit of life around here. Let's take some of these dark crayons. Just give it a little darkness here. It doesn't have to be all the way, just a little bit. See? So fun! All right, now, this side, I just wanted to dry real quick, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some thoughts. Um, like I said, she talks here about grab color from a crayon, draw directly, draw color directly from the crayon, and then apply to the loaded brush to the paper, which I didn't do that because I just worked with it on that. And soften with white. If you wait till all is dry, you can use the white water-soluble crayon over the top. All right, so that's just one little example of one of the lessons that's in um, the book, and I think it's fantastic. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Definitely check out Diana Trout's book called Journal Spilling. 
I absolutely love it. There's so many more things in here that I want to do just to play around. And you never know what you're going to get. You know, it, it's just why not have fun. Have fun with the tools you have, which are all of your art supplies. We have so many. This box should last me a lifetime. You know, there, there's just so much of it here. Let's play with it. And use the journal spilling and the other books that I have reviewed. Definitely use them to just play. And that's exactly what it's all about. So, as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will chat with you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.